Psalm 73, 5 through 6. They are not in trouble as other men. Violence covers them as a garment. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught them this truth through the Spirit. Sing an to the elect. Peace and blessed to the one third of confusion, the faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Man, oh man, oh man, judgment ringeth. Judgment is going out. All throughout the earth, but I'm looking at this one in a different light because it kind of um, goes into the realm of um, Judah is an old lion, you know, um, crouch low, who shall rouse him up? <clears throat> because um, this right here is a Judahite, Israelite woman, I want to say, that um, that was viciously, viciously attacked by Edomite. For like 10 minutes but if you look at the whole backstory of it all uh pretty much the dude on the right he um he was out drinking with some buddies and um they got into an altercation with somebody he got punched and then he um he hit his head on the concrete now this this individual he's an army ranger an army ranger now, you know, you have like, you know, you have the armory, the, the army, right? <clears throat> Infantry. You can have a squad, right? Squad up. You have a battalion of like 100 men. That's what um they call them centurions during the Roman times. A century is what? A hundred. So a centurion would be a captain over 100 soldiers. So you can have a a captain over 100 soldiers or you could have a smaller unit with more or tactical more elite soldiers right so pretty much i'm saying you have the battalions and squadrons right and then you have those small units they are like five man units right they go in they come up out the water those would be like the the navy seal teams the marine corps you know special ops you know what i'm talking about green barrettes army range these are like top tier Soldiers, Delta Force, right? That's who this individual was, this man right here. And what happened was after that fight when he bumped his head, he tried to go to another venue, but she was a security guard there. Now, this is already another reason why women shouldn't even be out the house this late at night and having this type of job. But I digress because I'd be walking inside the stores and walking out, and it was a security guard looking at me, and I'm looking at her, and I'm looking like, you should be at the crib cooking what I got in this basket right now. You know it. But you take care of love and she said whatever. But anyhow, so after she tried to tell him he couldn't get inside, they say he, he, he slammed her. Surveillance, the surveillance video say he slammed her. And she started punching her in the face. And he tried to gouge her eyes out with his keys. They just put his keys, you know what I'm saying, in between his knuckles and his fingers, you know what I'm saying? Like brass knuckles saw me, he tried to punch her in the face. And they said that he like like strangled her or whatever. Then he like jumped. Some he ran away and jumped some fence or whatever, some 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 venue. And he fell and hurt himself and was screaming for, at, at around 2 a.m. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And when he got admitted to the hospital, he said something to the effect of he was sexually assaulted and and, and drugged or some crazy jump. Right? But this goes to show you, man, this man has no regard. No regard. That was a female, a woman, going against an army ranger. This is Psalms 73, 5 through 6. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride could pass them about as a chain Violence covered them as a garment. The reason why I want to do this video because let there have been anyone else. Let there have been it. This is see this this goes to show you, man. Let there have been anyone else that was not an Edomite, let alone a ranger. This man got the lightest sentence, which is twenty years. <laughs> And the family was outraged. Family was like, hope he burned in hell. You know, Jay. Hope he burns in hell. 
Only bad thing about it is that I won't be I won't be there to see it and enjoy it. You know, they just you know how it is. You you very you infuriated. Right? Why? Psalm 73 and 6, therefore pride compassed them about as a chain, violence covered them as a garment. Because the sad thing about the situation they make it even worse. She she was 41 to, uh, and he was on. Uh, I'm sorry. She was 41 and he was 29. What made the matter even worse was that her father, Charles E. Regans, if I'm not mistaken, where I pronounced it, was a military veteran. And he wrote a letter to the court. This is what he said. Quote, I, myself, a U.S. veteran, recognize that Patrick Philip Byron is one of the Army's highest trained killers. That's what his father wrote. And this is what her, like this is what her father wrote. The deceased woman's father wrote. Then you have Colons. And, quote, Army Ranger. Riggins wrote, the actions of burn toward my daughter was brutal, savage, harsh, cruel, unnecessary, and worthless, exclamation mark. It was downright cold-blooded murder, unquote. And you damn right it was. No different than that one veteran that choked out that jape on that train in New York. And it irked me too. I remember Elder Apostle um, Taharni the Lie and um, Elder Apostle I just, Elder um, Elder, he's an elder definitely Elder uh, Malcolm said I will come out of retirement for one match with that man. I'm like man that's heavy because he's very poised you know if you know Malcolm the head of Chicago very poised, very, you know, you know, he do BG, BJJ, so, you know, he's very poised, very calm, very, but for him to say that, I could tell that it was, there was something kindling inside of him, because the dude was, the dude that got choked out on the train was a homeless guy, everybody knew him, he used to imitate Michael Jackson and everything, say he wouldn't harm anybody, he just wanted some food, and the dude just choked him out on the, on the, on the train, made it sound like he was a threat, and killed him. Hey, you know, but that's what I'm saying, they're not in trouble like other men, but the father said he was a he was he's a freaking murderer. He's a killer. And this is everything right here. What happened to her? All right. She told him the building was closed. Surveillance, surveillance, fan said, surveillance video said he slammed her, hit in the face repeatedly and everything. Right? Then they also revealed he had a brain injury and it could all been because of him being in the military. It, it don't matter. You're not you're not in trouble like other people, you know. But this is just another example to go to show you, man. That, you know, the women need to humble themselves more and more. You know what I'm saying? As there's a lot of judgment going out because the Lord's getting ready to usher in the kingdom. Because Esau's queendom is coming to an end. And honestly, I ain't gonna lie, you know, I like I always I say I love my people, I hate their ways. Man, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here I like you. Oh, well, that's good. She, I'm glad that happened to her. Hell no, that could have been one of my aunties or something, one of my cousins, man, that could have been a security guard or something. I mean, hold on, don't get it twisted now. Don't ever get it twisted. I know that it's, it's really, it's, it's two-thirds in the heathens versus us, but my our arch nemesis is Esau and Satan. Yeah, Eve is right there with him. We know it, but in the very few sincere sisters, I think about them in instances like this. You know what I'm saying? Very sincere. Because finna, it's finna get out to the wide man, even us men. Not, well, I ain't gonna say us men, but what I mean in general, men in general, they're gonna be uh, having pain. They're gonna be in pains like women. They're gonna be. They're gonna. They, their hearts are gonna fail them for fear. They say men of war shall become women. Yeah, but this is the wicked that the Bible speaks about. And you want to know why I say this too, you know, because Esau's path has always been destruction. Listen, this is Proverbs 4, verse 14 through 19. Pay attention. It's free. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not 
except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Wow. Mind your Habakkuk 2 and 5, a man will never keep it at home. His desire is, 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 is enlarged of his hell, right? He increases that which is not his. You can also go to Micah 2 and 1. Woe to him that oppressive man uh, uh, or, or divide. Oh, sorry. Woe to him that divides iniquity upon his bed. That he can't wait till his morning, can't wait till his light to do it. Like for real. Yeah. This is that man. He wear violence as a garment. You don't see what's popping off over there right now in the, in the Holy Land? Right? Proverbs chapter 4, verse 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. That's Esau's blessing, the sword and the fatness of the earth. The wicked are estranged from the... I'm sorry, Salaki. Row one. <laughs> I got excited. But the path of the justice as the shining light that shineth more and more into the perfect day. That's us. The path of the justice as the shining light. Oh, that's a, that's a video. That shineth more and more into the perfect day. The perfect day is the day we are changed. Oh, man, it's so great. I didn't think about that one. Shining light in all this darkness. We have the path that shining light until that day of redemption and reckoning, man. Through all this hell. That's why, I, that's why I, I'm... The spirit is having put more emphasis on the video for the women because, like, y'all got to understand, tighten down, buckle down, stay prayed up. You see what's happening to these sassy women out here now, right? They're getting theirs. You be 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 fortunate, Yahweh Bashima Shah has bestowed grace upon you to, to awaken you, men, women, and children. You know, we here. Nonetheless, Proverbs 4 and 19, the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. And lo and behold, his ass was drunk and stumbled and bumped his head. And then he went and murdered the Judahite. And you want to know why also I was reading that Psalms 58 because of what he said in his article. And I'm going to close out. They, they, they never hold themselves guilty. Never hold themselves guilty. All right. Just remember, remember, he tried to gouge out her eyes. He he dragged. Oh, Slacky, they even say he dragged her by her braids and everything. And then he strangled her, all of that. And then this is what this devil had to say. At his sentencing, Byron apologized to Smith's family, adding that, quote, the media and social media has betrayed me as a drunken, monstrous murderer in Denise's life. But that's not me, unquote. Said the admitted murderer. <laughs> Esau can't even tell the truth when he lied, boy. Said the admitted murderer through tears glanced over at her family. Quote, I'm not a threat to society, unquote. Yes, the fuck you were. All she told you was that the establishment was closed. And for 10 minutes, she was fighting for her life that she lost because you took it. But you're not a threat to society. Fucking devil. Never trust thy enemy. As iron rusted, so shall the wickedness. Closing out, man. Psalms 58 and 1 through 3. The chief musician, Altasheth, missed them. Of David. Do you indeed speak righteousness? O congregation, do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Hell no. Nah. He shouldn't even got 20 years. Remember what it say? Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link of the article into in the, on the description box. It said that the state of Washington does not have a um death penalty, but they're gonna give him the lightest sentence 20 years in prison. But before that, he actually in, in um in July 2021, he faced life in prison without parole. Then they gave him the lightest sentence. Why? Because after the fact, oh, he's an army ranger. Oh, he's this and that decorated. You know how that shit goes behind fucking closed doors. Think about it. Twenty years. He ain't gonna get the he ain't he ain't gonna get the max fucking sentence. Well, he may get like what fifteen, and then they gonna try and lock some off for good behavior. Then he may get early release. Come on now. And you know, and you know somebody in the family, somebody in the community, somebody locally gonna keep up on it, can they keep up with that type of, it's always somebody to keep up some some kind of stats so or who get released and this and that. And when his name pop up, they gonna hey, what you gonna do about it when they release him? Nothing. Cause they're not in trouble like other men. And they don't judge uprightly. Verse two. 
Yay, and heart ye work with Salakia. So what about that Jake that was an airman? He was an airman. They went to the wrong apartment and they shot and killed him. Now I'm getting upset. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting pissed off now. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. You weigh the violence. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. You the wicked, Esau. And you know what? When we tell you that, you, you get upset because you hate the truth. But you know that's who you are. You got to call it anti-something. Stop it. Verse 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb that go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Just like in the, in the article it said, he said, I'm not a murderer. Says the admitted murderer. It's crazy, ain't it? Crazy. So you can recall everything that was going on through your head, right? You know how you have murder, some murder um stories, some murder trials. And they be like, I went blank and opened my eyes and all I saw was blood everywhere. He didn't say that. I'm pretty sure he can vividly explain what he saw because it was on video anyway. Stop playing. You knew enough to tell a lie when you went to the hospital. Closing out. Psalms 58, 10, and 11. I know her family's grieving and going through it, but the Lord, hey, that's going to be a, that's a, there is a just God out there. That's why we keep going and there preaching the word. Start with the elders of great men starting on down and like-minded man all around. Okay, closing out. Psalms 58, 10 through 11. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Yeah, how about Shem Shah is a God that judge in the earth. So with that being said, pray you was at fine fair, stay in the spirit, no fear, just endure it. That's for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamash Allah. Muflah Babal. Shalom.